But my point is, is that this is a very difficult triggering conversation for a lot of people to have, um, especially in the design space. There's a lot of white men that will never, ever want to really talk to you about this because they know that they're wrong. And they've really kept a lot of, they've kept, they've, they've, they've refused to allow progress for a lot of things because, you know, um, because of, you know, design anthropology, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean, design thinking, they control stuff. Okay. Um, all right. So decolonizing design, a cultural justice guidebook. Um, first of all, I have to say, when I looked at this book, you know, and I do, I, I don't know if I have time to read something, but what I did notice right away is there's these beautiful little artworks and illustrations of you, Dory, with different hairstyles. And I was like, of course, <laughs> every picture is you in some cute thing. And, you know, I should ask you, what do you use on your hair? Like, what's your hair product? I use mm -hmm. pattern. What do you use? Uh, I just uh, ca uh, uh, castor oil and then like shea butter mixture. And if something particular, I might use, I think, like uh, uh, a mousse, like just oh the, the curls. But that's it. Wow. I'm like, I'm like, I'm using like the corporate stuff. I'm using like a. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross product pattern. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, I, 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 I have right that. 